Hood is here and that means we're going to be cooking something Middle Eastern, something always delicious when you're here, but oh. sweet this time. Yes, mm. a nice little sweet treat mm. from the Middle East, from my little <laughs> creation, I like to say. I love it. We're doing some kataifi cookies mm. with date molasses, tahini, those sorts of flavours mm. all going through it. So good. Um, let's get straight into yes. it because we want to dig into this. So I'm going to pull this kataifi. Right. Always let it come to room temperature first. Good tip. And then... Yep. Pull it like yep. I'm doing now because you do want those strands to come apart. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And we just want enough for what we want to yeah. make today. So oh. we're just going to do that. And while I'm doing that, can yes. you please melt some ghee for me? A can few do. tablespoons. Okay. In that pot. And why are we using ghee uh, instead of just classic butter for this recipe? Ghee is the preferred fat of choice in Lebanese cooking in particular. Right. And it gives it just this stunning flavour to mm. all the Lebanese desserts and Middle Eastern desserts. Okay. So I thought, why not indulge a little? And also, ghee, because we've removed the milk solids, it won't burn as much in the oven, so you get a beautiful, even colour on your pastries. That's right. So I've just separated all these strands. Mm -hmm. Justine, if you don't mind pouring half that ghee in first. Sure can. Drizzle that over. Look at that golden goodness. <laughs> so good. All right, and I'm just going to go in and mix that through. That's a good amount of ghee. Okay. This is going to make it nice and crispy when we okay. bake it. So once we do that, yes. we're going straight in with a little bit of tahini mm -hmm. to flavour that. Oh, I can just imagine it's going to be sort of nutty yeah. with that tahini in there. And some date molasses. Mm, date molasses. Very nice. Yeah. So we've got the nuttiness, the sweetness. We've got that gorgeous kataifi drenched in ghee. Yeah. <laughs> this is going to be a good cookie. <laughs> it's going to be a delicious cookie. Yeah. Now this is where it gets a little bit sticky, but yep. working quickly, we're yep. just going to coat those strands with the tahini and the date molasses. Mm -hmm. Okay, so they're nicely coated now. Mm -hmm. And I see you've got your little rounds on the baking tray. And we can just grab little handfuls at a time. Right. And I'll just place them in there for you. And if you want to grab the back of that spoon yeah. and just give it a nice press right. down. Right, so it's nice and even. Yeah. Okay. And that's going to form our cookie. Oh, the perfect cookie. Amazing. <laughs> Let's make a few more of these. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to bake it in the oven for about 10 minutes on 180 degrees until nicely golden. Sounds good. Well, these just look fantastic. They're crunchy, they've held yeah. their shape, and we do need to let them cool down completely, don't we? Absolutely, because they'll crispen up as they cool down. Fantastic. So we need to make the filling now, because okay. that's going to act as our little glue for those delicious cookies. Mm. We've got some labne in the bowl. Mm -hmm. We're going with the same flavour profile, so just a little bit of tahini in there as well. Right. And for those who don't know labneh, it's just strained yoghurt and you can make it at home very easily or you can even buy it if you can't be bothered straining it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> There's some that maybe want just to get it, which you can get from supermarkets now. That's right, yeah. yeah. They're easily available now. It's just thicker than yoghurt, so it's going to hold its shape more, particularly if you're going to sandwich everything together. Exactly. Yum! I'd just eat that like that. I know, it's such <laughs> it's a delicious. So now just... Quickly, I am going to add a little bit more date molasses yep. in there. Yeah, so that's going to give it the sweetness and you've got the nuttiness from the tahini. gorgeous tahini. And a bit of savouriness from the labneh itself. Yeah, you're right, yep. yeah. That's looking great now, Justine. Mm -hmm. So now we can fill those. Okay. I'm going to put a dollop there for mm -hmm. you. One there. And one here, I'll just give it that a bit more loving. Sure. And then you can squish them together. It looks like cream, luscious, thick double cream, but it's labneh, it's yoghurt. Now squish that down. Oh, let's do that one too. Yep. They kind of look like Anzac cookie sandwiches, but it's done with kataifi. Fantastic. So simple. That's the second one. And we'll just squish the last one. Oh, that is so much fun to make. Yeah, you can definitely get the kids involved yeah. in the kitchen to make these. You've seen how super easy they are. Sure I'm is. just going to do a small dollop on top there. Why not? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Why not? Because we can. Yeah. 
just a little bit there. Mm -hmm. And we'll give that one a bit of extra loving. And then to top it all off, <gasps> we're just going to drizzle that. More molasses. <laughs> just a little bit more. Grab some pistachio. Oh, the pistachios that have been crushed in a mortar and pestle, that pop of green just looks so good. And oh. we have our easy peasy date and tahini molasses cookies. There's cookies. And then Huda makes her version of cookies, which is totally not the traditional way of doing it. But no. I can tell you what, they are going to be so delicious. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>